Hello Space Chefs. Now our challenge and mission is to come up with a brand new, delicious, nutritious dish for our British astronaut Tim Peake when he goes off to his space mission. Now, when you're creating food for space, there's a whole new, different set of challenges. And one of them is how to create enough nutrition in those dishes for our astronauts. And one really important thing is calcium. We need it for our bones. Calcium is in milk. But you can't take six months of bottles of milk up to space. It's just not possible. So we've got to think more cleverly and ask questions that those technicians and boffins at the space station haven't asked before. And when it comes to milk, that question is going to be more like, why can't we take a cow up to space? When you're weightless and floating free, your bones have to work a lot less and start to lose strength and density. To combat this, you're going to need calcium in your diet, which means dairy like milk, yogurt and cheese. So, here's my solution. To provide all the fresh milk you could need on the space station, we send a cow into space. Now this sounds pretty strange, but so far, We've already sent into space more than 15 dogs, 12 monkeys, 60 mice, worms, turtles, fruit flies, spiders, jellyfish, fish, frogs, and even a cat. So why not a cow? Well, it is possible, but it wouldn't be easy. The fuel cost alone of sending a cow into space would be many millions of pounds per cow. The g-force of launch could push their oversized hearts to the limit. Whilst up there, they would eat the weight of Three astronauts in grass every single month. Plus, without gravity or hands to hold on to things, they need a rather elaborate jetpack. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea to uh, think about taking cows into space. Think about all the cow pads floating around. However, calcium is not just in milk, it's also in cheese it's in broccoli, it's in tofu. So these kinds of ingredients can make a real difference if you include them in the recipes. So it's very important to think about the kind of foods that Tim's gonna to need to eat to keep his bones and his body nice and strong. <laughs>